Hi, this is Clothes Logic by Marquez. We are here to show you how to get your basic measurements right because the outcome of your garment is dependent on how accurate your measurements are. So we'll start with bust circumference. Wherever you hear circumference, it means the roundness of that particular measurement. So talk about bust circumference. First, your client should you should start beside your client. Bust circumference is roundness of the bust, fullest bust of your client. Look at what I am doing, the fullest part of the, the bust of your client with one of your one of your finger in for ease. Like what I have here, I have 38.5. That is the bust circumference. Underbust circumference. Underbust circumference is the underbust of your client. Like so. Underbust circumference should be fitted while measuring. Like so. With one of your finger inside for ease. Here we have 30, 33. Waist circumference. Your waist circumference is two inches above the navel. Assuming this is the navel of your client, it should be two inches above the navel. Like so. Here I have 33. Hip circumference. Hip circumference is the fullest part of your client's hip, like so. When you are measuring your hip circumference, you ensure that you move the tape down and up to give ease to the hip of your client. And here we have 42. Chest circumference. The chest circumference is the upper bust of your client. Because most times, ladies' chest goes in immediately after their shoulder. And the, the chest is usually a bit smaller than the fuller bust. So you measure it like so. Here we have 37. You can see the difference between the bust circumference and the chest circumference. The bust circumference is 38.5, while the chest circumference is 37. The next measurement is bust point. The bust point is measured from the neck of your client to the, to the bust point, where you have the nipple. And here we have 10, the nipple of your client. Front waist length. The front weight less length is measured from the neck, the upper neck of your client. Upper neck of your client, we are measuring bust point, 10. Front waist, we are measuring from the neck of your client to the waist. The waist is usually the tiniest part of the body, which is also hold on, two. Hold on. If it's difficult for you to dictate your client's half length, you can just measure two inches from your client's nipple, away from your client's nipple, then get a bias tape and tie it like so. The front waist measurements above your bust, down to the client's half waist. Here we have 17. And the back, we have 17. Back waist measurement. If you look at look look at what we are getting from the back waist measurement, we have 15, while the front waist measurement is 17. The reason is because of the bust of your client. Most times the bust bust half length is usually higher with by the higher with two inches. 
But let's say it's somebody that is a, is a bit fuller, you can go as far as 2.5, but most times it's just two inches higher than the back waist. So we have here 17, and the back waist we have 15. The hip length. Every measurement, vertical measurement, comes from the neck, fullest neck, neck of your client. For you to get your hip length, you go over the bust. Always ensure that you go over the bust of your client. This is the hip. Here we have 26. Neck to under bust from the fullest part of the neck above the bust under where most times usually where you have the iron for the for bra for ladies this is what is called under bust or it can be called yoke that's 14. Shoulder length. Shoulder length is shoulder to shoulder of your client. Place your tip above the shoulder to the next shoulder. Here we have fourteen. Your client's ample measurements. Ensure it's tight, then slip in one of your finger for ease. Here we have 16. Boss pan. Boss pan is usually from one nipple to the other. For boss pan, it's expected that you measure your client's nipple to nipple, but most clients might not like that. So the simple calculation for boss pan is your round bust, your client's round bust, divided by 4, minus 1.5. E.g., if your client is 38.5 divided by 4. Look at what we have here. 38.5 divided by 4 equal to 9.6 minus 1.5 you have 8.1. You approximate it to 8 inches. So the boss part of this particular client is 8 inches. Desired length. Desired length is the length of your, your garment. It depends on what you want. You can do your knee length. You can do three quarter or you can do full length. It depends on what your clients want. For whatever you're measuring, it must start from the upper neck, cut across the bust of your client before you start going to the desired length. So for this practical we are using desired length of 39. Sleeve length. Sleeve length is the length of the, the sleeve of the garments that you want to make. Most times you measure it from where the shoulder of your client ended to the desired length of your sleeve. The standard length of your sleeve is 9. You can do 9. You can do 8. But if you want it to be a long sleeve, you, the hand of your client must be in a Kimbo way. You measure it to the elbow and take it down to the desired length of the sleeve. It can be half here 
it can be to the wrist it depends on what your clients want so for this practical we'll be using 11 measurement it depends on what the clients want you measure the round fullest part of the sleeve measure the elbow if you are doing a long sleeve measure the down part of the hand and then measure the wrist you'll find out that each of the measurement is half inch or one inch lower than the next one so it depends on what you are doing I think this is the basic measurements that you need if you are doing a basic dress basic basic dress basic top and I hope that this helps you in getting down in doing some of your practical thank you thank you for watching please please go to our youtube channel subscribe follow us on facebook Marquez collections for videos your illustrations tips on sewing